The sun will get dimmer by 2050. Who turned the lights out? Scientists are predicting the sun will be dimmer by 2050 in a phenomenon referred to as a grand minimum. The phenomenon comes at irregular intervals and is believed to be triggered by random fluctuations in the sun's magnetic field. During a grand minimum, sunspots form less frequently, the sun's magnetism is reduced, and less ultraviolet radiation makes it to Earth. A dimmer sun will affect Earth by first thinning the stratospheric ozone layer, which will then impact wind and weather patterns. So does this mean global warming is solved? No, we're still screwed, but hey, that's what beautiful clean coal is for. Like it hot? Tanning drug could prevent skin cancer. Scientists have developed a drug that can tan human skin without the harmful effects of ultraviolet radiation. In tests on skin samples and mice, researchers found a way to trick the skin into producing melanin. Ultraviolet light causes the skin to tan by damaging it. This starts a chain of chemical reactions in the epidermis that eventually leads to the production of dark melanin, the body's natural sunblock. Researchers have developed a drug that, when applied to the skin, triggers the process of producing melanin without the need for UV light. Tests of the drug were conducted on mice before they were experimented on samples of human skin. Even without exposure to UV rays, the human skin cells darkened as they would when exposed to sunlight. The study also showed melanin produced from being triggered by the drug was able to block harmful UV rays. The drug still needs to go through more safety testing and is not yet ready for commercial use. Researchers eventually hope to combine their drug with sunscreen to provide maximum protection from the sun. Great American Eclipse created bow waves in the atmosphere. Don't look at it, unless you're the president. The total solar eclipse in August of 2017 left bow waves in the Earth's upper atmosphere like a boat sailing through water. The bow wave theory says that a total solar eclipse will create high-pressure pockets under the moon's shadow that slice through low-pressure air as the shadow moves across Earth. These air pockets then generate small bow waves in the atmosphere. Researchers from MIT and University of Tromsø in Norway collected data from around 2,000 satellite sensors placed across North America and for the first time detected tiny bow waves in Earth's ionosphere. The researchers said their study reveals complex interconnections between the Sun, Moon and Earth's neutral atmosphere and ionosphere. Partial Lunar Eclipse to take place this week An eclipse is said to take place in the Eastern Hemisphere, but it's nothing like the Great American Eclipse taking place later this month. A partial lunar eclipse occurs when the Earth is between the Sun and the Moon, but not all are perfectly aligned like during a full eclipse. The partial lunar eclipse on August 7, 2017 begins at 5.22 p.m. Greenwich Mean Time and is expected until 7.18 p.m. Part of the moon will orbit through Earth's shadow at a speed of 2,300 miles per hour. It will be visible to most of the world, except all of North America, much of South America, and some areas in East and Northern Russia. Unlike solar eclipses, no special equipment is needed to view lunar eclipses. A clear night sky will suffice. Mother Nature is about to totally freak out. Animals are going to act weird when a total solar eclipse passes over the United States later this month. Scientists say when the moon begins to move between the sun and the earth, we could see hooved animals lying down and hear songbirds fall silent. Eclipse chasers report seeing dolphins and whales swim to the surface of the ocean five minutes before an eclipse. Meanwhile, others talk of llamas gathering in line to gaze at the sky or of spiders dismantling their own webs. According to scientists, an eclipse can disrupt animals' circadian clocks, convincing some it's time to go to bed or prompting nocturnal creatures to come out and hunt. Researchers at the California Academy of Sciences are asking citizens to take part in an experiment by reporting animal behavior during the Great American Eclipse on August 21st. They want to know what all kinds of animals get up to, including domesticated ones. For more info, check out the iNaturalist app on the App Store or Google Play, or go to www.inaturalist.org.